Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a bit of a Christmas haul for you all. It's mostly homeware given the fact that obviously I'm kind of vlogging about a new house a lot at the moment. So I've also got a few other little bits in there but it will mostly just be homeware. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So the first few things I'm going to show you aren't exactly necessarily homeware as such. They are my new Christmas bits that I've got this year. So firstly, I've got myself a candle. I absolutely adore candles around Christmas time. And this year I bought the Yankee Candle one in the festive cocktail. As a rule, I'm not normally into Yankee Candles. Purely because I find that they're quite expensive and I don't really feel like you get much of a scent off them when they're actually burning so I don't really tend to use them that often however this one it's very fruity and quite sweet which is normally a scent I really go for at Christmas although this year I have started to like like a cinnamon slash mulled spices kind of scent but this one is kind of very fruity I love that the next thing is weirdly a perfume you've probably heard of Zoella and she released this little perfume called Bake My Day. It smells like gingerbread and baking. As a rule, that's not normally a scent I would go for, but because it's Christmas time, I kind of want to really get into the festive spirit this year. And it's kind of grown on me, actually. Like, just to smell it once, I'm not really into. But when it's kind of on my skin, I really like it. I actually bought that in this little set of four Zoella perfumes, and I think this was like 12 or 15 pounds, maybe. Anything I do mention in the video, I will try and link below so you can at least have a little look online for yourself. The next thing I've got is this really cool Christmas tree phone case. Um, at the moment, I currently have one of our dogs on the back. That's the one made for me for my birthday. But I think being in December now, I'm going to get this one on today. And I actually bought this in Topshop in about August time um, for a pound. But when they released it last year, it was like eight pounds. So... They might have it back on this year, so I'll have a little look online for you and link it below if I can. Now the next thing I have is pretty much my pride and joy this year. I love lists, I love organisation and I love Christmas, so I couldn't resist buying this. This is the Kath Kidston Christmas Organiser. They released this one, I think, for quite a few years now. Um, but this year was the year I decided to go get it. Now, annoyingly, mine has started to get dirty because I have literally carried this with me everywhere. It has all these different sections. So it has a to-do section. It has um, a card section. So you can write, like, people's names and addresses and things. It has a present section. So you can note down, like, obviously, what you're getting, who. And then it also has a to-buy section. So I've put everything that I've still got left to get in there, which looks a lot um it is a lot and then there is also a section so there's like conversion tables um there's cooking times there's a menu planner there's like if you've got recipes that you've seen in like magazine or something you can stick them there uh there's a note section and then I think, yeah, there's just like some stickers and stuff at the back, but I doubt I'll use them. The Kath Kidston Organiser, now they're not cheap, they are £18, but if you're like me and you do like to keep everything in one place at Christmas, you like to make a list, and if you have a notebook that perhaps maybe you always use, then I would definitely recommend one of these. I also um, spoke to a girl on Instagram about it, and she said that hers has actually lasted her three years now, so I will use this next year and hopefully the year after if I've still got space in it. So I think that we are now moving on to slightly more homeware type things. The first two things I've got were from Paper Chase. Now I bought something, I can't remember what, that I returned and for whatever reason I decided to um, exchange it for some other things. So I got this little Christmas tree ornament I guess. Uh, and this was £3, which I thought was adorable. And then I also bought this little, um, like, a glittery plant thing. This is £4. Now, I feel like you could probably get away with this throughout, like, autumn. So I've had it on the table since I got it in, like, October time. And I just think it's really, really cute. Now, the next few things I'm going to show you literally are just in a big pile next to me. So I'm kind of going to get them out one by one. And I will say where I got it from. Um, and how much it was and hopefully we'll be able to link it below for you. So the first things that I bought were these oven gloves. 
Now we do currently have a pair of reindeer oven gloves but we've been using them for like two years now so I decided just to kind of get a new pair. Now these were from Asda from the George Home section and these were only £4 and they've basically got these little gingerbread men on and they're like the like the full ones so you've not got like just like one like just two gloves like you've got like the full thing i also received um a tea towel this year um off my mum as basically my family we do like um this thing called an advent present so on like advent sunday before christmas um you basically get to open a present normally to do with something christmasy something you can use up towards christmas but as i've got older it's normally been something to actually put in my house and this year my mom got me um this really cute uh happy pugmas tea towel as we have a jug who's like a jet russell across with a pug and um, so uh, getting being bought pug things is quite common to us um, and this from the looks of it was from Primark um, now I've bought tea towels from Primark before obviously she's took the price off um, but I'm sure tea towels they're not that expensive like they're like £152 so I'd imagine that's probably what this cost so they're a really good value for money for how often you're kind of using them we've got a lot of tea towels for Christmas themes downstairs um, but a lot of them are starting to get like a little bit worn now so this will come in real handy um, whilst I'm on the theme of advent presents, I'll just show you what else I got purely because I don't know where these came from. Um, so the first thing, oh, this is really heavy, that I got again off my mum. These Christmas theme chopping boards. And basically you get two in a pack and they've basically just got Santa and reindeers on. Now these are the sort of things where if I'd have seen them, I'd have probably wanted these. So I'm really glad that I, uh, that I got these as a gift. And then my grandma also gets me an advent present, which is really cute of her that she still does that because like I hardly ever see her anymore. And she basically bought me um, the set of free um, chalkboard jars. So again, these are the worktop protectors. I have no idea how much they were or where they were from. So if you have seen these, please, you know, let someone else below know where they were from as I'm sure somebody might be interested in these. These have... Um, they're like hand painted and they just have like little chalkboard things so you can write on them what's in there. I'm contemplating putting like the tea and coffee and things like that in them this Christmas but we only have tea, like none of us have sugar, none of us really have coffee so I feel like two of them might be a bit redundant. They are very very like kind of homemade style and you just get that on the top and then just this little chalkboard and then they just have that, that little clippy jar. But I think they're really, really cute and they'll look really, really nice. The next thing I got um, were nothing really exciting. Um, and these are these 100 uh, LED solar powered lights. This year, having our own house and things, I've decided that I'm going to have a mini tree outside our front door. And I just got these off eBay. I think they were £7. Because they seem to be really expensive delights. Like, I don't know why. But I don't mind too much if like these literally last me this year. I will buy some more. Because um, obviously solar powered lights aren't incredible over winter just due to weather conditions. But yeah, I think these will look really nice. I haven't bought the tree for outside yet, but I will be doing hopefully next week. I went to Primark and did a bit of a spree. So there are quite a few things in here from Primark. And these are the Primark Home 50 baubles. And these are gold, black, um, kind of like a copper, but a more orangey copper. And then the same colours again, but the glitter versions of them. And I just think these are so lovely. At the moment, we have a very multicoloured kind of tree. We go for a bit of like a... We have all the Disney ornaments and Jamie likes to have multicoloured lights. So I'm trying to add a little bit more grown up in the sense of baubles, but still keep lights, tinsel and everything like that kind of quite young still but I think the baubles will just be like a nice little addition this year. Again speaking of the tree, I actually bought this for Jamie's room and um, when it comes to Christmas we will only really decorate the living room, perhaps maybe the landing banister, um, the kitchen and then any other little odd bits that'll go around but in terms of like the bedroom, the bathroom, things like that I'm not bothered about decorating them this year purely for the fact that we're the only ones that really go in there um, and the bathroom will only really be seen by guests as and when they come round so I'm not too bothered 
Um, but for Jamie's room, I decided just to get him a little something just to add to it, just to kind of give him that little bit of Christmas. This Star Wars tinsel, it's like two metres of tinsel that's black and silver, and it has um, like little stormtroopers on there. Uh, this was only from the pound shop, so I'm not ex exactly expecting this to last forever, um, but I just thought it'd be a nice little addition to his room for him. So I bought a couple of bits from Sainsbury's as... Sainsbury's have now decided to reduce a lot of their Christmas range. Um, you'll find that actually at Christmas time you don't get rewarded for doing everything early. The closer you seem to wait to Christmas, the more bargains you can actually pick up. Um, and Sainsbury's Homeware, I really love this year, but given the fact we just bought a house and I had so many other bits and pieces to buy, I couldn't really justify spending like £10 on an ornament and things like that. So. I, uh, I've just decided to hold off this year and just get bits in the sale and wait till next year. However, they have released some things in the sale already. I got these Christmas Spice 30 tea lights and they basically smell like mulled wine and cinnamon, which, as I said earlier, is a scent that I really didn't like. And I think for some reason, I've kind of grown up in my scents that I like recently. And I can't wait to put these. We've got a lot of like tea lights and candle holders and things like that at Christmas. And my house is going to smell freaking amazing with these in there. And then the other thing that I bought from Sainsbury's. Um, this is this Christmas garland. And um, basically it's this kind of pattern all the way along. Um, and it just says Merry Christmas. This was originally £10. And they had... 20% off all their Christmas range at the moment so I got it for £8 and it was the only one left so this is kind of going to go somewhere in the house but I'm not too sure where yet and then one of the other little bits I got this was actually a birthday present um, from one of my best friends and um, this is this really cute gingerbread man water bottle um, again obviously I don't know how much it was I'll put a link if I find it on the Paper Chase website but I'm, I don't really like finding presents that people bought me because I always feel it's like a little bit rude going to try and find how much someone's spent on you but if I do find it on the Paper Chase website I will just link it below if you uh, quite like it. Now there are a few things that I bought are all from Asda. Asda or George Homeware is incredible. The quality is good, it's really affordable and they always have a really good range of things. In the past, I find that their Christmas range normally seems a little bit bigger. This year, I didn't seem to find as much things that I like, but I do normally buy Christmas bedding from Asda, but I've not bought any this year. But I did buy a few little bits, so I'll just show you what I got. Now, the first thing that I got was this, um, like this star kind of potpourri ornament thing. Um, and basically, it's meant to smell like frosted spruce. And I'm not going to lie, like, I can't smell anything at all. To me, it just smells like metal. Like, I can only smell, like, the outer casing. So, I think what I might do is... Originally, I was going to send it back, but I think that, that time's passed now. Um, I think this was, like, £7, maybe? Yeah, so this was, like, £7, and it is meant to smell like frosted spruce. But I've not opened it yet, so by the looks of it, there is a cable tie on here, so I'm guessing I could open it and put different potpourri in there. If you are after good potpourri, by the way, I would recommend going to Wilkinson's. Don't know why, but for some reason they do really good, strong-smelling potpourri. Um, but this just doesn't do it for me at all, so if you are looking at the Asda Homeware, I would say save your money and don't spend £7 on this, because unless you really want this as like a um, to put other things in, then I wouldn't bother because it's not great, but I will put other things in it, I'm sure. And then I also got two other things from Asda. Now, I am a big cushion slash throw kind of fan. So much so that Jamie has actually put me on a cushion ban. <coughs> he, he said in the new house that I've got to stop buying cushions, basically, because I have too many. Unless I get rid of some, I'm not having any more. I may have gone on Asda's website and ordered some for Christmas because basically they're not going to be out all year, they're going to be away for most of it, so it's alright, right? So the first one I got was this uh, big red one which says, baby it's cold outside. I've wanted a cushion that said this for about two years now and the last one I wanted was in Marks and Spencers um, but I think it was like £20 or something. And then when it went down in the sale, I just didn't have the money and stuff like that. So I just didn't get one. However, this one was only £7. So I'm really glad I did buy this one. And then the next cushion I got, which is by far probably my favourite Christmas cushion, 
Now you've probably heard me say a lot in various blogs and stuff that in this house we decided that we wanted to be a bit more grown up. However, I've just completely reverted back to my old self with this one. And this is basically my Christmas Puggin uh, cushion, I believe it's called. And this was six pounds, again from George Home. And I think this was an online exclusive, I believe. Again, with the pug theme, we just kind of, well, I can't help myself. And I think this is so cute. And I can't wait to use this on the sofa. The next little thing I bought is a little trinket. And I actually bought this on my birthday, so I bought this mid-November in TK Maxx. Now TK Maxx is obviously quite hit or miss in the sense of what you're getting each shop. However, this is just this really cute rose gold coppery tea light holder. I will probably put one of the ones from Sainsbury's in here. Now this was 3 99 and it is literally just like this kind of like copper pots type thing. If you have just bought a new house, you will know that Next is the king of homeware. Now Next for Christmas is also absolutely amazing, absolutely incredible. However, for me this year, it's a little bit expensive. So I've not really bought anything from there. Next year I probably will. And I probably also will try and get some stuff in the sales. However, there was one thing that I really wanted this year. Um, a set of placemats. With us kind of having a proper Christmas this year, I want to actually make a bit more of an effort. And I spotted these, God, like in October time or end of September maybe. And I was like, they're incredible. I really want these. And yesterday I actually went to to go back to next to exchange something that I'd broken. But as it was a gift, I basically didn't have a receipt or whatever. So I just thought, oh, I'll just put it against something else. But it was only £3. So I just thought I can't really buy much except for like a Christmas decoration. However, I saw these again and I was like, you know what? I'm buying these. And um, basically it's this set of four uh, Christmas placemats. Now they normally retail at £14 and I did get them for 11 I don't really think it's that bad at all, it's only like a couple of quid for a placemat, which I would have done. Four, so you get two of like this kind of, almost like a duck egg kind of colour, which isn't very Christmassy, but I get what they're going for. And then two red ones as well. The reason why I love these so much, and this is kind of the, the pinnacle of how ridiculous I am when it comes to buying things, is purely because they have this little pocket that you can put your knife and fork in for your guests before they have their lunch on Christmas day and that is literally the saddest reason in the world why I bought a set of placemats but it's the truth and I just think these are adorable and the thing is as well although they were like expensive for me at the moment like these are going to be used for years to come now like they're not something that you just replace every year or whatever so like these are kind of more like an investment piece I believe for Christmas and then all the last things I'm going to show you now we are on to the last of it are all from Matalam um, and their Christmas range is incredible and it's really affordable I've bought quite a lot of Christmas presents from there this year as well so first off I will show you my most favourite thing that I bought from there and this is this um, doormat for outside our front door and it basically says the weather outside is frightful and if there's one thing I love it's Christmas lyrics on Christmas decorations. I seem to go a bit weird when it comes to things like that. Like I love um, like the baby it's cold outside pillow. And then obviously I've got this. Um, I think I've got um, a plaque downstairs which says may your days be merry and bright. Like I seem to have this real obsession with like music and Christmas decorations mixed together. So this was just amazing for me like I thought this was so cute the only thing I'm really sad about is obviously that it's going to get ruined but that's fine hopefully they might either put it in the sale or release another one next year and um, but this was only seven pounds as well which is not bad at all and it's a really good quality um doormat and the next thing I bought for my dogs we downstairs obviously have like a water bowl and their food bowls and things like that and we normally have like a tea towel and um, because for some reason they seem to drop water everywhere um, so for Christmas I bought them this kids uh, like placemat so although I don't actually need the um, the coaster part of it like I'm just gonna put all their bowls on this and I just think it'll be like a nice little Christmas addition to the kitchen and then also from Matalan I bought these oh, they've all come undone now that's annoying I basically bought some um, hand towels for the bathrooms although I did say that I don't tend to really make the bathroom Christmassy. If I was to find things that I could make it Christmassy, I probably would. Um, there's a gorgeous bath mat in Max and Spencer's at the moment, but it's like £12, so definitely can't afford that at the moment. 
but I do have a lot of like flannels and guest towels and hand towels and things like that for Christmas and I bought this set of two towels and it says um have a merry little Christmas see again with the lyrics on things I don't know what's wrong with me and I bought that one and then it also has like this kind of white one with like little mini trees I guess on um, but I do feel like you could probably get away with this like any time of the year because I don't really feel like it screams too much of a Christmas. The next few things are all from Primark I think I'll show you. I also bought this little kind of like mason jar is that right and this is meant to be cashmere plum scented candle and it burns up to 70 hours. And then once obviously this is emptied you can always um, soak it in warm water and it'll kind of melt whatever's left and then you could always use it as a mason jar if you wanted to. And this says it's the most wonderful time of the year on, again with the lyrics. I don't actually know what's wrong with me, I think I might have a problem, like I need to actually cut down on buying things that have lyrics on them. Um, but I just think that's really really cute and that was, that was £5 of that, wow I must have been paid that day. Um, so yeah, that was £5, so I'll get that burning throughout December. I seem to have bought quite a few candles from Primark, and I don't really know why. I think this was like one of the first hauls I did when I was getting into kind of the Christmas spirit, so I think I just went a little bit mental. I bought two of these little reindeer tea light holders. Now they come with a candle, but I don't know if it's like a scented one or not, so if it isn't then I'll probably put one of the festive little spice ones in. These are only £1.50 each and I just think they make like a great little addition to like a coffee table or just something where you just kind of need that little ornament or that little trinket or something. And with the last candle I bought from Primark, um, this is a tea light holder but it's made for like the big tea lights and this is basically like a black and gold, like a stag. Now this was £4.00. Which again, I don't think is bad at all because obviously you still get to kind of keep the um, like the tea light jar. It does come with a big tea light in it, but again, I will probably put like a Yankee candle or something like that in there, um, as I do have quite a lot of like the um, the small like votive size ones. So I'll probably put one of them and burn like a scent in there. I'd imagine this year. And then the last thing that I got from Primark uh, was this Christmassy kind of table runner. And it's got these little tassels on the end, which I think my dogs are going to absolutely love them. This was £5. Now, I actually have quite a few table runners already. I've got, like, a red and white star one, and I have a grey snowflake one. Um, and then I also have one that's got these really cute, like, embroidered um, Christmas tree sequin decorations on there. So, really, I didn't actually need a fourth one. But I've had the other ones now, like a good couple of years, so I might start to kind of maybe get rid of them at the end of this year and kind of replace it with these ones. And the last two things I got were from Wilkinson's. Wilkinson's for me is really, really incredible for Christmas homeware. It's really cheap. It's really good stuff. A lot of our decorations are from Wilkinson's from Christmas past. Purely because I don't spend a lot on Christmas. Although I think as the years go by now, I probably will start to buy maybe one piece that's a little bit more expensive. Um, and start to introduce things like that but as a rule Wilkinson's is a really good go-to place. Now I bought, I only bought one of these, um, I already have these in like a red velvet but on one of them one of our dogs has kind of scratched at it so like you can see like the little claw marks in the velvet. So this year I bought gold kind of glittering reindeer statue. That they're, they're literally like, they're not like solid by any means, like they are quite like they are quite hollow um, but these are only £4. Now as a rule I would get these as a pair because I got the red ones as a pair but the other one they only had two in stock and the other one had like a big chip of glitter off his nose so I just thought oh I'll just wait till another day and they do have them back in stock now so I've not bought one yet but I'm sure I'll just pick one up if I have a few extra pennies one week. Um, but I just think he's lovely and if not he will just go somewhere where I think just one decoration would suit. And then the next thing I bought, or the last thing I bought should I say, was our Christmas wreath for our front door. Now this year I've not bought an expensive wreath, I don't care about having an expensive wreath. Purely because where we live, um, we're still on the housing building site and across from our house is the um, the site office. So they're not building the houses there for another good couple of years. So literally every day we have lorries and diggers and JCBs and everything coming down the road. And given the fact that obviously we've got the British weather mixed in there, it's very, very dirty. 
and a lot of the dirt does come back up which I'm not exactly thrilled about but we did know what we were getting into when we bought the house so you can't really get too angry about the amount of dirt that is flying towards that house. I'm sure either A they'll do something about it or B it's not exactly a hard job to wipe down your front door. Um, so this year I just went to Wilkinson's and I got this berry and cone six pound wreath. It is just like a fake Christmassy wreath like there's nothing like special about it but again this is the sort of thing where if this does end up getting dirty and ruined um, throughout December I'm really not bothered about throwing it away. And I also bought one of these door hooks but I have this feeling that this isn't going to go over our door so on our front door we have a little window and I've bought like the suction cups so I kind of have a £1.50 reef hanger that's got nothing to do with anything and if I remember rightly they don't fit over like the doors you get in a new build either because they're like fire doors so they're like ridiculously thick. Um, so I'm gonna have to find some use for this somewhere. I might like have to bend it to get it over one of the doors for like another reef or something, but we shall see. So that's it. That is my Christmas haul finally done. Give me a big thumbs up if you liked what you see. Um, again, hopefully I will be able to link most things below, but if there's anything I've not mentioned, please let me know below and I will answer any questions. Um, again, as always, let me know if there's anything you want to see um, about a new build home process or buying a house or moving or anything at all. I'd be more than happy to help. Um, I should hopefully have maybe one more video up before Christmas if I've got the time. Because um, working in retail means that I now have to work till 9 slash 10 o'clock most nights of the week. So time isn't really on my hands anymore. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. And thank you very much. Bye.